Yo! Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate everyone who's coming back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, bless us with the subscription. Hook us up. We would totally appreciate it. We got a little optic rip today. Um, absolutely crazy day in the hobby to uh, talk about. So we're going to get into that. But we got uh, two tins that have retail packs. Joey Burrow and a Parsons tin. We got uh, three... Optic Football Blasters uh, with pinks from Target. And then we got three of the purples, uh, you know, like the Walmart versions. But, uh, you know, we're going to get right into it as we're talking here. Um, I guess we'll start with the 10 Sun. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay, we'll start with the Parsons 10. But, yeah, absolutely crazy day in the hobby. Now, we have other videos that we have already slated to post. We're probably going to film this one right here and get it posted because this is cra crazy day in the hobby. Absolutely crazy day. So the first off the line optic hobby dropped today. And, you know, I woke up in the morning and, you know, did a quick little check of Facebook. And right off the bat, there's people on there being like, did I watch the break? And I think it was I think they were talking about like maybe someone breaking on Fanatics or something like that. Oh, uh, we got a stars in this one. Um Heinz Ward on the stars. Um So like I said, get on the Facebook. Someone said they were watching the Fanatics break and somebody had pulled 20 downtowns already out of their case. So, you know, a downtown is supposed to be a case hit, so it should be like one per case. Yeah. Right? And they got 20. They got 20 in their case. So then I jumped on to whatnot. So this is why we're pull doing this break today. Got a little downtown fever, son. Hopefully we can get pulled downtown today out of our retail stuff here. Um, But I jumped on to whatnot, and instantly I'm watching a break where they literally pulled 25 downtowns. Jeez. 25 downtowns in their case. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. So that's like three downtowns per like. There was there is some 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 of the hobby boxes, and like I said, these are first off the line boxes. Some of the hobby boxes had like three downtowns on one hobby box. Really? So that's got another crazy. stars in this one. It's a boomer. Um. It, it was absolutely it, absolutely insane. So. I jumped on to another breaker's uh, break. He was also breaking, first off the line, a case. Same thing. Like 20, it was like 25 downtowns in the case. And I'm not talking just like, down, you know, I didn't see any mythicals. I didn't see, I saw downtowns. And I'm not, and when I say downtowns, dude, I'm not talking like just regular old downtowns. I'm talking like there were black Pandoras, gold, gold vinyls. It's crazy. It was absolutely insane. We're going to get into the Joey Burrow 10. That's what was came out of that Parsons 10. Um, but honestly, it's not supposed to be like that. Like, I don't know what's going on at Panini, but, you know, to say it was a loaded case is like an understatement. It's like an atomic bomb case. Like insane absolutely crazy 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 insane um yeah and you know everyone and they're pulling all this crazy stuff that's like a 101 downtown get pulled you know they're pulling you know pulling all this crazy stuff and with that being said too it, it was like complete it was like completely loaded because everyone's all focused on light it up joey burrow Everyone's always focused on all the downtowns that were getting pulled, but, like, dude, there were some hobby boxes that had, like, I don't know, like, five autos in them, six autos in them, too. So, like, the boxes that they were considered, you know, out of the case, like I said, there were some hobby boxes that had, like, three downtowns in it. Witherspoon Rookie. Um, Yeah, yeah the, but there was like maybe like a couple, maybe like a couple or a few boxes out of the case that weren't completely loaded with downtowns, but they were like loaded with other stuff, autographs, numbered cards. No one crazy yet, son, on the stars. 
last pack of the retail, and then we're going to get into uh, the blasters. So hopefully we can pull a downtown today. I got, I got some downtown fever after seeing all these downtowns today. Not much out of the 10s. Not much out of the 10s. Where do you want to start with? the? Uh, I'm going to move the 10s out of the way, actually. We'll start with the targets. We'll start with the targets? All right. Target 10. I'll throw the Joey Burrow up there for now. Or, I'm sorry, the Target Blasters. That's got the pink. Yeah, I think in one of the videos, Joe Burrow was the gold. Yeah, I, did, I saw crazy stuff today. I saw crazy stuff. And... And that was like the word going all over that there's all these crazy, you know, they keep calling them like a hot case. To me, it's like an understatement. It's an understatement, a hot case. It really is an understatement because, like I said, you're supposed to get one of these per case, not 25 or three in a box. But it's not like guaranteed you get one. So I'm going to tell you right now, ooh, Wix, there you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now that um I'm honestly like if you were considering buying like a regular old hobby box, not one of the first off the lines, I'd be I'd be nervous to buy that thing. Considering how these front off the lines look. Like loaded, loaded, loaded. And like I said, I didn't see any mythicals, I didn't see any blazers, I didn't see any of the Whatever the other ones are called, I forget what the other ones are called off the top of my head. The, the you know the the rookie ones. Aren't it was have, all downtowns. Aren't dude. they like a thousand dollars for one? Something. It, it depends on what you pull. That's a nice one, Aiden O'Connell uh, Hollow, LT. Um. Now, I was saying like per hobby box, I guess a thousand dollars or something. The front off the liners? Yeah. No, I think they're like I think they. I'm I'm gonna guess they're like fifteen hundred a box. Yeah, super expensive. To where a regular, a regular hobby, I, th I think they are. I think that's about what they're going for. I think the price shot up on them real fast though too, because of what's been going on today. But normal hobby boxes, not the first off the lines, just normal ones. They're supposed to drop at like, uh, I think eight fifty a box. But these are first off the line boxes. So. It just it absolutely crazy day in the hobby. It was just insane to see that. I was thinking about getting in on some breaks, but oh, here we go. Here's a nice little My House Gibbs. That's pretty sweet. Um, I've never really done a break before, to be honest with you. Look at my sleeves. I gotta uh, I'm gonna grab a quick. Do you know how to do it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just uh, breakers. Do, each breaker does it differently. You know, you could buy a spot. You know, some are spinning the wheels for a spot. Uh. Not really my thing to be doing that. Well, to be honest with you, the, 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 watching some of the breaks today was kind of irritating to me, at least. Why? Because every time they pull something, they're like, bang! Bang! Like, they're just, like, going crazy for every little every little thing. Um, Just, like, the, the lingo that they use nowadays, it was kind of just, like, getting on my nerves. They're like, oh... Like, this dude's got the lines in the break, and, like, he's eating today. Like, that's how, like, football players talk. Like, oh, I had a good day. Like, I'm going to – I ate this game. I'm feeding my family because I had such a good game. Like, you're feeding your family off of pulling it downtown? <laughs> he's going to eat today. Like, come on now. Relax, dude. Like, the only people that are eating are those breakers because – like I, one breaker was like, uh, you know, I think I think the spots were even going for higher, but I think when I first started watching, they were going for like two hundred dollars a spot. So times thirty two teams, you do the math. You know, they're making thousands of dollars off of each break that they do. Honestly. So breakers are oop, breakers are making crazy money. Twenty five thousand dollars. Let's say every downtown is five hundred. You know how much that would be? Well, yeah, it's crazy, but it, I don't know if you fully understand it, son. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with Target and go. We're gonna stick with the pinks and go all the way through, and then we'll go over that side. We'll just do that. So, hey, crazy day, crazy day. Like, what is Panini doing? 
So like if all of these cases are crazy loaded, like what is what does that what does that mean? Like who's getting shorted? You know what I'm saying? Like who's getting shorted? Like is hobby boxes getting shorted? Are they about to be like scarce downtown and they're gonna be all mythicals and all blazers and the regular hobbies? I don't know. Crazy. There's a kicker and a pink. I don't think we had the My House Gibbs, right? But, but didn't you say one of them, what one of like his dad's worked for Panini or something? Yeah, no, 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 no. One of the breakers was like saying like, oh, my, I, my, I have an uncle that works for Panini. I'm like, geez, I wonder why they're getting these first off the line boxes. Because keep in mind, Hobby doesn't come... We're recording this on the day first the line came out, um, and Hobby still ha still doesn't come out for like another two days, I think, like regular Hobby. Which Hobby did they buy? First off the line Hobby boxes, oh. huh? That's what they're called, first off the line Hobby boxes. And it speaks for itself. They're like the first boxes off the line for Hobby. You understand that, kind of? Yeah. All right. B. Dojolari. Another My House. Bijan. I don't know if we had that one either, do we? No, I don't think so. Two good rookie My Houses. We like the My Houses. I think we did have Bijan. I don't know if we had Gibbs, though. All right, going to keep going here. It, yeah, it's just Van Ness. Crazy day. Zay Flowers. That's a nice base. Um... Yeah, crazy day in the hobby. And I don't know what that's going to equal, like, going forward. Because, like I said, they're not supposed to be like that. Like, autos galore, numbered cards galore, downtowns crazy. And then, like I said, one-on-one -on -one downtowns, uh, gold vinyl downtowns. That's super crazy. It was just insane. It was just insane to watch. I was like, what is going on? All right, dude. Last, uh... Last try here for the uh, for the pink boxes. Nothing too too crazy yet. Just a couple uh, couple ones worthy of the sage. Just get a little lean stack going here. All right, I think we got an auto in this one. Yeah, a signature series. Billy Sims, number 20. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh, a Puka base. But yeah, we got an auto, that's pretty cool. Go for Barry Sanders. Yeah, it would have been, yeah, that, that's the number 20 I would have wanted. <laughs> that's the number 20 I would have wanted, son. I thought of. But Billy Sims is still cool. Yeah, he's still good. Hey, at least we got an auto. You know what I'm saying, dude? At least we got an auto. Can't complain. All right. Next pack. I was thinking of Phil Sims, the kid that played for the Giants. What are you talking yeah, about? Back in the day. What about Phil Sims? The kid that played before Eli Manning. Like, I, I, it's in a billion since I thought it was Phil, Phil oh, Sims. Oh, okay. I follow you. Yeah. All right. No one crazy on the pinks, but we did real good the last video on our pinks that we, that we, had, that we didn't even drop yet. Did like Phil Sims play when you were like little? Yeah, yeah. Phil Sims like when I was a kid. Here's the fridge. The refrigerator. Kincaid. Rookie recruits JSN. That's pretty good. And yeah, that's not too, too bad. We'll put that right there for right now. We'll throw a quick little uh, sleeve roux on this guy. And keep it moving. So, yeah, just, I don't know. It was crazy. It was just crazy to see. Mm. A chain silver or a pink. That's not bad. Hendon Hooker. Tua. I, mean, I think we already have that chain. And on the pink? Yeah. Um... Yeah, may have gotten them. 
I don't really remember. Let me sleep. Let me throw a sleeve on this wick while I'm throwing sleeves up. All right, man. Last pack of the pinks for this video. But. Yeah, I mean, let us know in the comment section. Did you see the same stuff out there that I seen in the hobby today? Did you get, you know, did you get in on any of these breaks? If you did, it wouldn't have been cheap. Probably would have cost you a couple hundred bucks. All right. But yeah, let us know in the comments. All right, we're on to the uh, the purples from Tart from from Walmart. So yeah, I was honestly like considering maybe getting a hobby box. I mean, eight fifty, dude. That's that's an expensive rip. But after seeing what happened with the front of the line, I'm like scared to do. I'd be scared to. Something got messed up. Something got messed up at Panini. What's that in the back? Look at this. This is weird to see. Clark Phillips, he's got the rookie card thing over here and not rated rookie. That's odd. What's that in the back? Oh. A Brian Dawkins retro. That's cool. I like the retros. And Brian Dawkins is a beast. Throw a quick sleeve on the wicks, I guess. And keep it moving. Sanders, Mitchell, Kayvon, for the first purple, Thurman, Quentin, Zay Flowers that's Hollow, good. That's, that's, good. that's a good one. That's a real good one. Joey Burrow can take a hike for now. Joey Burrow there. All right, put that one at the bottom. That feels like a thick one. Which means it's probably got the mem card in it. I mean, what else would I have? Cutlets. Darwin James. A possible auto. It's, it's mem oh, card yeah. or auto. Well, it could, it could but be Tank Dell. That's nice. All right, all right. Laporta. And Danny. But yeah, the Tank Dell's nice. I don't know if we ever pulled a Tank Dell purple. We probably did. We'll take the JSN down for now. Throw a sleeve in the Laporta. I don't feel like I see too many Laportas, Laporta bases. All right, let's keep it moving here. All right, dude, ready for the thicky? And we should have the purple in the front, right? We think it's you think it's a CJ in the front? Maybe. And no. Joey Porter. That's not bad though. It's a blue. Charlie Jones. Tyler Scott. Ew. Picking. I mean, I would rather have Justin Fields than that. Maybe. All right, blaster. Two of the purples. But I gotta say though, uh, at least I mean, at least most of the breakers did the right thing. It wasn't like, you know, it, it, when someone knew that they had a hot case, they ripped the whole case. So it wasn't like they tucked a couple away for themselves or something like that. Zach Charbonnet, rookie recruit Zay Flowers, Howell. At least throw a sleeve roo on this guy. And keep moving. Garrett Williams on the purple. Bigsby, DeMonta Smith. I'm attacked that one. One, two, three, four. In this in this blaster, still got one more after this. Yeah. Pitts. 
Ryan Breesey, Christian Watson on the hollow, Danny Marino. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Trey Tucker, Brian Branch, Fred Warner. Brown, Cam Smith on the hollow rookie, Adam Clutch Vinatieri. I really want downtown. Yeah, me too. I'm jealous today after seeing all these downtowns get pulled. If you were someone got into a break and got hooked up, good for you. Here's our last purple, Josh Downs, all stop. Did we, am I losing my mind? We didn't get an auto or a mem card in that thing? No. That's what it's looking like to me. Okay. Interesting. All right. Last blaster. If you made this part in the video, we totally appreciate it. Like, comment. Please hit that free subscribe button. Bless us with that. We'd really appreciate it. These videos are not cheap to do. And at least it'll give us a little boost in our hobby journey because after seeing what went on today, man, whoo. Crazy. All right. Suggs. Gonzalez. Ooh, here's a CJ. Nice. In the primary really colors. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. And this has got that wheel rub at the bottom. I'm sure it'll buff right out, though. It doesn't look bad at all. All right, well, they're going to pull down Dawkins and, and throw CJ up there. At least sleeve Dawkins. All right, next. Michael Mayers on the purple. Marvin Mims, Dotson. Bobo, Keyshawn, Brian Dawkins, three packs to go. Uh, I'm not feeling the downtown here, which is really sad, son. I love to pull a downtown. Miller, Will Anderson, Youngblood. Wilson, The Fridge, Hollow, Christian McCaffrey, last pack. Once again, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video if you did. Thank you. Appreciate that. Last pack left. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you think about what happened today. Musgrave. It's not bad. Wilson, and then off with Javon Curse. But overall, not bad. Hollow's A Flowers, Purple Tank Dell. We've got a couple of my house, nice rookies. Yeah. Couple of nice looking panks, primary, it. autograph. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed listening to my rant. Hopefully, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later! Later.